Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating this clean minimalist agency landing page in Adobe XD. And this design is also part of my web template and you can find the link to that in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so as this helps other people to discover my channel. With that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, um, just a brief, um, a preview of what we'll be creating. So this is the agency website. We have the header here, we have the navigation. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, we have the meet our team section, blog section, contact section, and um, the footer. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, create an artboard 1400 width and um, 766 in height. So the first thing we need to do is um, we need to create the header. So I click on the rectangle, draw a rectangle from top to bottom. Um, the width should be 100. No border, and the field to be 26. 2c 2e 3e okay so this we hold the hamburger medal as well as the um, social media links so i have those icon as my components i'll just go to my component and just pull them out okay And um, want to put the search button very close to the bottom. Okay, so this will be the um, hamburger meadow, and this will be the search button and we have a Beyonce link we have a dribble link we have twitter link and we have a facebook link And then we can just we can just group all together so it'll be easy to move around. Okay. So the the name of this agency is Experience. So what we want to do is um, I want to create a little bit of depth in the in the design. So let's create a text. Um, we're going to give it the same color we used before. The, the font I'm using Proxima Nova, which I, which I really like. And um, make it bold. Three. The size should be three forty-five. 
Okay. Let's take it to the back. All right. I'm going to reduce the opacity to maybe four or five percent. This four is fine. Okay. All right. Let's let's change the text to design, and then we have experience in front of it. So let's change this to design. Yeah. Put it at the center of the page. Okay. Yeah. And then let's create the another text and give a name it experience. Okay, this would be around twenty-five, and the spacing between the letters would be fifty. Okay. All right. Let's bring it down. Bring it just in front of um, the background text, and um, we can. Uh, so let's let's kind of align it using the grid. All right, that's fine. The next thing you want to do is create the call to action button. Okay, so a rectangle again. Let's remove the, the grid. Rectangle. I want to make it 15 height and maybe 180. Lens. Give it the same color. Okay, so the text should be sixteen. And the fill color should be white. We can just group them. So now we have our call to action. Let's make it regular instead of bold. Yeah. Better. Okay. And let's make this, let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, black is fine. Extra bold. Okay. So, um, the next thing we want to do is create the shape on the side of the design. On the left hand, the right hand side. All right. Okay. 
Rotate it 45 degrees. So you can do this by holding the Alt and the Shift. Or you can just come here and just type 45 degrees. Just make 45 dot minus 45. All right. Okay, that's fine. For now, we're going to be using an image for this, but for now, let's just give it a color, a fill color. Okay. And then we want to create another rectangle, so we'll just duplicate this, Control C and then Control V to duplicate. And what we can do is give this a white color. Let's actually make this bigger. All right. So on this side, on this white um, um, rectangle or white square, we'll be having um, just uh, a simple text about um, the company. Okay. So we can do this. We we'll click on the, um, the text icon here, and then can click and drag to create a text. Um, input feed okay for now what we can do is this to 16 yeah and make it regular okay So we have a, a plugin in next day called the RAM Ipsum. Okay, so what we can do with this selected, you can just come click on this and fill this with a place order text. Click on OK. And then we can edit it the way we want all right so i want to increase the height line height so about 25 let's actually reduce the text Okay. And so maybe we should just give the, the text a little bit of effect. Object blow. See and reduce the opacity to around 8C. Okay, I know this doesn't look so good now, but when I when we add the image, it's going to look really nice. Okay, so let's just add the image right now. I have an image already, so just um drag and put it right here okay so 
So you can use any image of your choice. We also want to create uh, another design element. Um, this is just to um, give it um, a little bit of depth. So it has a cool effect. Uh, we can give it Or we can just pick color pick this one of the color yeah okay so now the the header is pretty done okay the next thing we need to do is move on to the other parts other section of the design right so by that we can extend extend the the height of the page Okay, so the next the next section we'll be doing will be the services section. Let's give this section um, a little bit uh, a different color from the rest of the page. Okay, so we're gonna move this to the back. I'm gonna give it F nine. F9, F9. Alright, so it just pops out a little bit more. Okay, so the next section we'll be creating. Oh, before we go to the next section, what we want to create um, maybe a sort of navigation at the end, at the bottom of the um, first section. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, let's 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 do that. So in in this in this case, the, uh, maybe there's a sort of a, a carouser where the user can go um, to the previous um, picture or to the next picture just to showcase um, um, images of the company, for example. Okay, so here will be previous. And here will be next. Okay, and we have a sort of indicator. Let's create the indicator using a line. Height should be around 15. The fill color should be the same color we used. So if you notice, I used the same color all through most of the design elements. And the reason for this is because it just gives you, when you have a, a single color for a particular design, it just gives it um, this monochrome effects where very easy on the eyes all right so okay make this 10 right and what we can do you just we choose the opacity of this so around 60 just to show that this is the one that is highlighted we group them all right
Okay, cool. So we're done with that. Let's move on to the next section, which is the um, services section. Okay. So for me, I can just duplic um, duplicate this and use it. The font size should be around 40. Um, the title should be, let's say, area of expertise. Center is. And uh, for me, what I like to do in my design is, I usually, um, especially when I'm designing a, a web page or a website, I usually give each section, I usually give like a lot of um, negative space or white space between um, first section and the next. So by doing this, it just makes the design thin. And um, yeah, so let's see around. Let's see around 100 and um, 50 or even 200, you know, so it's up to you guys. Okay, cool. So there's, the, on this section there are actually six activities or six services that are rendered um, by this particular agency. All right, so we have to find a way to visualize them. Okay, so the first activity, let's look at this, would be um, where well, a mobile design, for example. Alright, so we just space in within the text. It should be regular, or we can make it semi bold if you want to. And the font should be say 16, it's fine. Yeah, so 16 is fine. And um, the text, so we can use this text, let's drag. You want to give the user too much text, so it's fine. So the, this is around this section, the height should be around 200, right? Okay. Or oh, let's say 180. Okay. And the distance between the main title and the subtitle should be around 100. I mean, this is subjective, it's up to you guys where you want to make it. So I just like giving a lot of space in my design, makes the work look better. Alright, so each of these um, services would have uh, an icon. So I have a icon here that uh, I can use. Go. Alright. Let's center align this stuff. Okay. 
So we do have we do have the first services. Alright. So what we can do is group it. Okay, then we can um, create a group, a repeat grid. So we just group it first, then click on this repeat grid on the right hand side. And then we can duplicate it to the right. Okay, and the distance between it should be, yeah, so 150 is fine. What we also want to do is, we want to break up the repeat grid, right, center this, okay, cool. And then we want to, let's bring this down a bit. Android is fine. As you can see, I, I do have a lot of space, and you see why I do have a lot of space between my elements. So let's change this to SEO, for example. Okay, and this would be at uh, graphics design. This could be marketing. Not sure. And then we could have um, maybe branding here. Put that in the middle. And mobile development. Okay. And you can also change the um, you can also change the icons usually. So, but I don't want to take too much of your time, so I'll just leave it like that. All right. So uh, we also want to show, for example, when you want to give this to a developer, you want to show what is the highlighted state. So what I would do here is create a rectangle. Okay, I'm going to send this to the back. All right. And you guys can see why I leave a lot of space between the elements. And this is one of the reasons. Because sometimes you, there are some things that are clickable and um, for you to show them, you need to have um, a lot of space. Okay, I would actually like this to be uh, just a normal shape. All right, then we can reduce it. Maybe okay. Wanna give it the same color? And I want to give it a shadow. So let's say 5 on the y axis and um, 30 
as a blow and let's see around 25 or 20 the next thing you want to do just change the text fill color to white let me choose like this to be a lot bigger okay all right yeah so pretty much the expertise section the services section is done and the next will be we'll be creating the project section so what are some of the works or the projects the agency have worked on all right so you need to be consistent okay you need to be consistent with your spacing you need to be consistent with the alignment so if you remember we left 200 pixels between um the first section and the next so the same thing applies here also so to sh be sure it's actually 200 we and it's actually 180 not 200 180 okay all right So we're going to name this section uh, maybe for example what we cool so in this section we want to try to alternate um, the background to make it different from this so it gives it a, a different feel uh, so what we can do is create a rectangle this will be the background of this section we give it the same color all right so the height is around um, six around 680 Right. see between this is actually so this is one eight C and this is seven C okay We want to show a way to display the the project. So let's create another rectangle, and this will be um, the images of the project that this particular company has worked on. Okay, so this will be let's say the height is around for. And the width is around 550. Oh, 550, not 450. Center it, okay. Just create a different variation of um, the boxes. Alright. So this would be. 
We opened that box, yeah. That'll be around 200. And 265. Okay. Yeah, it's also gonna be like a, um, a browser. You see what I'm talking about. So on the right hand side, what we wanna do, let me just copy this. We, what we wanna do here is, we wanna actually create um the categories of um portfolios all right so 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 usually there'll be a list of categories here and each one that you click on shows you different um set of portfolios or different set of work the company has worked on so let's say for example this is 2d the company Two D and three D. Okay. All right, so the next one will be branding. Okay. web and um, mobile design all right game development for example and um, Let's say graphics design as the last one. All right, we want to highlight this, so we're going to leave it as, as it is. And um, you want to dim this, the rest of the categories. So around 20. Okay, so that just shows that this 2D and 3D is highlighted and the, the image is showing they are related to this. Okay, you can group them. Don't forget your alignment, you need to align. And uh, what we also want to do is just create a similar effect we did here. Okay. I want to put it somewhere here. Obviously, we're going to reduce the size. So we'll make it around 150 pixels. Fill color to white. Okay. 
and um, let's make this experience same name with the company Let's make the effect a little bit subtle. Okay, cool. We also want to create a carouser. I think we have that already. So we can just um, copy it and paste it here. So the carouser is just a sort of indicator to show which, how many um, pages or how many um, categories you have. I'm going to give it white okay I'm going to align it to the bottom of this yeah so obviously we're going to put images here just to show um, yeah like some of the designs and the next the next um, section we'll be creating will be the it's in okay so let's do that all right Section will be we name it meet our special team for example. This will be a very simple section. So in this section we create we'll be showing the images of um, um, all the um, people working in the company. So what we can do here is just sort of create um, it's very smart text paragraph okay about the team about the company so we can use the same plugin we use it just to fill the text And uh, just make it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. So let's create the, the employers or the employees of the company. This would be the box, the size of the box would be around 360. By 360. Okay. All right. So we can just import images from from here. Uh, I think there are some plugins we can use to import images like uh, stock images, um, free stock images. But I have my own images that I, I want to import. So I'll just do that now. Yeah, so have the images in. Um, this will be 50 pixels from the text I'm going to take this down yeah 
let's give it a different view okay also what we can do is actually sh um, indicate when this is highlighted okay so I come on this okay Draw a square across that image. Give it the same color we've been giving it. Reduce the opacity to around 80 or 95. Okay. This is the highlighted state um, when you actually over on the image. This is what shows. If not, it should be like this. So we're just giving it um, two different states just to show the developers and uh, what are the different stages okay so we can have the name all right so let's give let's name a Sarah O'Connor by name And she is the senior graphics graphics director or senior graphics designer. Okay. And also what we could also do is um also show uh, social um, social media information. All right. put it down here okay cool um, we also want to create another call to action button all right this is very good when you want to uh, make um, the visitor of your page get in touch with you so when you're scrolling down they need to be able to assess the call to action instead of scrolling back up to see it so we can just put it back here okay yeah it could also be a carouser okay and this is optional if you want to put it or not it's up to you Also create the next button and the previous button. On either side of the page. Okay, cool. Um so right now we are done with this section. 
for the um, victim section. The next section we're going to is um, what's use um, like a testimonial section. Okay, and uh, yeah, so let's let's do that. I'm gonna create a different background. Like you see what I'm doing here. We have a background here. We have no background. We have a background. So we are alternating um, the design. Because if it's just plain, then it looks very flat and it doesn't look so good. So we want to create a rectangle to serve as a background here. So that will be. Okay, we give it a few color, same few color. Um, the size should be around four, four eight three, four eight five. Uh, so that's too much. Let's make it um. 350 okay, that's fine so the design is actually getting really long so yeah so want to create an image so there'll be an image on the left and then um, the text on the right so this image will contain um, an, uh, an image of one of the people who actually uh, made the testimony okay so I'll give it a cool design here Okay, so duplicate that. Maybe we can give this. Okay, so we'll put an image here. So I've gone ahead to place the image. So what I did was I created a, a rectangle it um, to 45 degrees and then uh, I max an image to the rectangle or to the square to give it this effect and um, the next thing we want to do is just create the name and also um, what it, what you're saying okay so we can just use this copy and paste this text right here okay so we align it to the left okay and um the name that's the person name Let's give this, let's name this Miriam. Okay, and make this 
16, 16 is fine. Well, let's make it 18. Not bold, regular, or even light. Okay. And um, the person's position in their company. This, we can make this in capital letter. So, I'll make it bold. Or semi bold. This will be, let's say, this person is the CEO. Of Tesla. Okay. Group is moving to the center. Another thing we want to do is create um, the um, the quotes mark. Um, this is just to show uh, this is a quote from uh, from someone else. Okay, so we can just make this 20 opacity and increase the size to about 200. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're done. We're done with this section. So the next section will be the block section. Okay. And this is optional. If you want to do it, it's fine. Okay, so, so let's move to the next section. This is going to be the blog section. So a blog consists of an image, a title, a date, and a call to action. So that's what we're going to create right now. Height should be around 365. Okay. Duplicate this rectangle. This would be for the image. So around um, okay. I just give this a few color for now. All right. So.
the title of this book would be something like why AI is taking over the world for example So we do have um, this just published, which is usually in caps, so January 23rd, 2020. Okay, and the final element we have is the call to action. I'll give it a red color. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have we have the main components now for the block section. Uh, what we can do is just group them so they are movable. Okay, so we can just duplicate. Okay. Okay, let's just, let's see what we can do here. Put this in the middle. Increase this to around 315. That's the width. Okay. Yeah, so now we have the components ready. So we can just duplicate them. Okay. And um, just put an image in each of them. So we have the images in all of them. Um, the next step um, is the contact ox section where we have the form where the user can contact the company but before that we, we need to create a call to action button here also Okay, so the next step is actually creating the contact us form. So we do that now.
So the design we want to do here is um, there's a form. One create a form on the left hand side, and then create um, a sort of a map on the right hand side. So I have that um, components for the map already. So I'll just pull that out. Okay. Okay, and then we have the components, um, the form on the on the right hand side. So the form would just be um, the full name, the email address, phone number, and message. You can you can put any input field you want, or take out any info, input field you, you don't want on the design. So the first thing is we need to create the input field. Okay, let's give it our same color, which is this. Okay. So this would be full name. Okay, and then uh, we'll reduce the opacity to 50%. So it's, it serves as a, a place order. Okay. So what we can do is group them and then duplicate. Okay, so the distance should be around, let's say, I think 40 is good, or you can make it 45. Okay, so this will be the email address. be the phone number this will be the message so the message is always uh, the text area which is always bigger than the rest so we can just extend this down a little bit okay and the last thing we want to create is we got it go to action Okay, so this will be send. So we have this. Okay. And uh, we can decide to make make it um, the button the size or just leave it the way it is. We also want to create a few design elements on this part just to give it a little bit of depth. Okay. So Um, I want to create an effect so you can 
see this, these are two circle, um, rectangles or squares you can group um, select both and then click on um, intersect um, sorry not in the subtract to subtract the inner circle from the outer one and you can always go back to um, change the sizes okay let's put one here let's put one here Opacity to around eight. Just the size a little bit. So that will actually come into an end, and um, and the final the final final um, section would actually be um, the footer. Okay, so this is this is this is this has been very interesting so far, and uh, yeah, we also want to create uh, a sort of um, indication to show where the company is at the moment. So what we can do is, yeah, we can just create a rectangle real quick. Okay. Um, Give it a shadow. No bother. Give it a shadow. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna actually put in uh, a text and address. So what address should we give it? Um, 11 districts Streets <laughs> um, Oregon or Oregon Mall All right. And um, just a little bit. Let's just group them together. So the next section will be the, the last section will be the footer. And this can be a very simple footer or it can be a very um, very complex and extensive. 
so it's up to you guys how you want to do your footer but for me I'm just gonna make it simple Which I will be SA two seven C. Okay, and we can just have a um, very basic, very simple um, information in the footer. So one of the information will be the name of the company. Okay. We need um, maybe the address. So we can just put A very simple dummy text. Can I also have the um, the phone number as well as the email address of the company. Okay, very simple. And on the right, we can have subscribe. Subscribe to my newsletter. And we can have a can have a simple image field yeah so we're just gonna create one of the first
okay and we can also have for the final part we can have um the social media links of the company down here okay if you pick a little bit okay Yeah, and um, that's it. Yeah, I mean, usually it would take me less time to actually finish this um, if I wasn't explaining. And now you have a very cool, a very cool ag um, agency landing, which is pretty. I think it's pretty good because it's, it covers everything uh, a landing page or an homepage of or an agency would have. Um, in some you might not see the blog, in some you might not see the um, contact us, um, but I just kind of include everything on the page just to show you guys how um, you can design this. So if you actually, if you really like my, my design, um, please 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 subscribe to my channel uh, because I will be posting more designs I will also be um, including a link because this design is actually one of my um, one of my template uh, design so you can get you can get a template I'll be posting the link on the description below so yeah you have a very cool looking website right now that you can um, expand on, you know, make it as your own, make some changes, and um, you're good to go. So, thank you guys very much. See you guys next time. Thank you.